thank you very much for your time and welcome to Cottbus. Thank you very much. Thank you for asking me to come and have a little talk with you. Um, have you actually competed in Cottbus yourself as a gymnast? I did compete as a gymnast. I remember I was maybe 10, 11 years old and we had a friendship classic here. I was a junior. I remember that I didn't have a good experience. I fell on floor exercise. I had a big bruise in my knees, but I still competed and in competition I did extremely well. So I have a great memory of finishing well, but still have a bad memory of injury. Coming back these days, I never competed at this event, um, the World Cup event, and it's really interesting how many excellent gymnasts here from all over the world. Um, so do you think that gymnastics has changed a lot since the time you were competing? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. First of all, at my time, you have to do all four events. You have to be all around gymnasts. Now you have gymnasts who may be not as strong all over, but they special the specialty on the single event. And I think it gives them opportunity to travel and show their best at different competitions. If you were a gymnast nowadays, what skill would you like to perform? What skill or what event? Um, both. Both? Okay. Uh, I would say my favorite skill would be dismount of bars, triple back dismount. I did this as a junior many years ago in Russia, but I have never performed ever since. I think I was maybe 13, 14 years old, but at the time you didn't really need so much difficulties. So I would love to perform this dismount these days because bars are much further apart and I would have more energy and speed going into it. An event, I would say balance beam. Just love balance beam and performing under the pressure. And always love to uh, be in the place where 30, 40,000 people watching me to be on this little piece of equipment. And I always did my best under the pressure. So balance beam would be my pref preferred event. Do you feel the pressure when you're out there and you have all these people watching you? Do you notice or are you so focused that you don't really? As a gymnast, I never notice people. I, when I come to the podium, I'm in my own zone. I'm trying to sing my favorite song inside of me and just focus on exactly what I needed to do. And now as a coach? As a coach, it's a much different situation. I get nervous more because it's not up to me. As a gymnast, I know I would go and I do it because I have control. As a coach, you don't have any control. It's up to the athlete. And when athlete make mistake, I get hurt personally inside because I'm thinking this is, I did something wrong. So it's a completely different experience and I feel it's much harder to be a coach than an athlete. It's quite interesting. Yes. <laughs> um, we see you around here now as a coach of Uzbekistan. Um, what is your actual role? Do you go to Uzbekistan or do you stay in the US most of the time? These days I live in the United States. I've been contracted last year by Uzbekistan team to be uh, not the coach but an assistant for the team and personal coach of Oksana Chusevitsina. So I did role for both. For the team helped a little bit and with Oksana these days, um, for this and next year, mainly I will be helping Oksana and managing her. So do you, do you have to go to Uzbekistan for that or will she come mostly to the United States? Uh, we will be training all over the world. We'll be training a little bit in Germany, majority of time in the United States and a little bit of Uzbekistan, but I don't go there just quite too far. And um, gymnastics, the, the gyms there is not as well equipped, I would say. It's actually really difficult for you to believe and for me to explain what situation, what kind of gyms they have there. It's really, really old. Equipment is old. I really don't know how she can train there and be as good as she is these days. So that's why we're trying to train in Germany and United States mainly. And when you train in the United States, do you have your own gym? I don't have my own gym, but we use Discover Gymnastics in Houston, Texas. It's a huge facility where Oksana is always welcome, as, uh, as well as myself. Um, I've noticed that you do lots of things. I've heard that you also have a pizza restaurant, that yes. you have your uh, Leotard line. Yes. Um, how do you combine everything? 
You know, I think I've been fortunate in my gymnastics career as a gymnast, and I think later on in life, just doing the right thing, helping people, and doing a little bit of everything. So just recently, I've been um, added to company Dreamlight. It's a um, late head company where Oksana is going to be wearing their late tights at this event. Um, and they asked me to be part of their company to have my own design. So I'm really, really fortunate to have that and excited. Line doing extremely well. Um, pizzeria, yes. Six years ago, me and my husband invested in pizzeria and we became owners. It's quite different experience, food industry. Um, not that I ever loved pizza, but now I know so much about the food and about great pizza. We have a delicious, delicious food there. So I'm excited to do that, but of course I don't do it myself personally. I'm in the restaurant when I can be, and I help as much as I can when I'm in town, but because I travel so much, it's not we have a full staff, we have um, you know everything running on its own. So, you know, and when I need a free meal, I'm always welcome to have one. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there anything else you would like to do uh, inside of gymnastics or outside, something that's been your dream? You know, m mostly travel. I enjoy different countries. I enjoy visiting, learning the culture, trying different food. So uh, my dream to, I was telling somebody on the bus today that my dream would be to go to India. I really want to visit India one of these days and maybe bring my family to, to show them that uh, people not as fortunate as we are in the world and just to see how people live in the world and it's a third world country just to to get educated myself and my own family to you know how people live in different countries it is an important thing i think i think um if you would have to pick a team uh, of gymnasts these days who would you pick and why gymnast i would say i would choose usa uh, it's hard-working country, lots of children, they pay to do gymnastics, lots of money, and they work very hard. Whatever you tell them, they try to do their best. They have everything in the world, they educated, but they still come to the gym and give 100 to 200 percent every single day. And I'm just amazed to see how just great people and hard-working kids, it's all I have to say. Yeah, they are the strongest team at the moment. Um, yes, absolutely. Do you think anyone can beat them? Oh yes, definitely, definitely. I think the Russia might have a strong team if all of their athletes will be staying out of injury. Mustafina, Komova, Afanasiva, you know, there's quite a few excellent, excellent gymnasts. I think Romania, uh, Catalina Ponor, and Isbasa coming back. So I'm really excited to see them help your Dace to bring the team up. So I really hope so. I really hope that uh, USA can put some competition among the other countries. It will be more exciting to watch. Thank you very much.